हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल डिजाइन अड्डा सो इन द सीरीज ऑफ स्लाइडिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग सो दिस इज एन अनादर वीडियो ऑन द व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हाइड्रोडायनेमिक बेरिंग एंड द हाइड्रोस्टैटिक बेरिंग ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द स्लाइडिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग टाइप्स ऑफ स्लाइडिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग लुब्रिके लुब्रिकेशंस वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द स्लाइडिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग एंड द मटेरियल वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द स्लाइडिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टूड द वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाइड्रोडायनेमिक बेरिंग एंड द हाइड्रोस्टैटिक बेरिंग ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो ओके so the hydrodynamic bearing let's understand the hydrodynamic bearing first okay so in hydrodynamic bearing if you see here so the outer portion it is a bearing surface and the inner portion it is the journal surface or the you can say the shaft surface okay and between the shaft and the bearing we have the layer of lubrication okay or the layer of lubricant okay so here the lubricant is there and here we are pro, uh, means uh, continuously here uh, there is an hole here or the you can see the passage where we are passing the lubricant okay so the continuously we are providing the lubricant between the uh, between the surface of the bearing and the shaft okay so continuously we are passing without any external pressure okay so without any external pressure at atmospheric pressure we are passing the lubricant here uh, uh, between the bearing and the shaft okay so uh, when the shaft is run okay when the shaft is run so uh, during the running condition or the working condition so the pressure will generate here okay or the pressure will generate in the lubricant and uh, at some point okay pressure will generate in the lubricant and you can see so the shaft will move towards the uh towards the center of this uh, center of the bearing okay so in the first image um, in the in the first uh, scenario you can see the eccentricity is more and in the uh, means uh, continuous working scenario the eccentricity will be uh, reduces here okay so in the hydrodynamic bearing the eccentricity uh, is there between the shaft and the bearing so uh, in work uh, so at the rest it will be the more eccentric eccentric means the center of the uh, uh, bearing or the shaft is uh, some offset offset value okay so you can see here so it, uh, at running condition the eccentricity will be less but it should be there okay uh, means it, it will be there okay then uh, you can see we are not using any external pre i means external pressurized fluid here okay so in the next scenario like uh, in a hydrostatic bearing okay so in the hydrostatic bearing so we are using the uh, we are using the different mechanism okay to pressurize the uh, pressurize the lubricant okay and uh, the uh, with help of the uh, mechanism uh, like a pump you are using here and with the uh, we are uh, passing the pressurized lubricant okay so the pressurized lubricant we are passing between the uh, surface of uh, bearing and the shaft okay so and you can see with the, with the help of pressurized uh, pressurized lubricant now here the eccentricity will not be there okay so with the pressurized uh, pressurized lubricant we are lifting this uh, lifting the uh, shaft okay we are lifting the shaft and it will be the concentric okay so eccentricity will, uh, eccentricity will not be uh, will not be uh, there in the hydrostatic bearing so it will be properly concentric with the bearing bearing center okay so you can see the difference here like in uh, in hydrodynamic bearing there, there is an uh, eccentricity but in uh, hydrostatic bearing so the uh, shaft surface it uh, it is completely concentric not uh, eccentric okay so so here uh, uh, we uh, we are passing the 
pressurized lubricant and in the hydrodynamic bearing we are passing the lubricant at atmospheric pressure there is no pressure we are applying okay so in the hydrostatic bearing we are passing the uh, pressurized lubricant uh, between the surface uh, between the uh, shaft surface and the bearing surface okay so here uh, so um, so the motion of the shaft okay so in this term is uh, in hydrostatic bearing we do not require the motion of the surface to generate the lubricated flame so uh, in the hydrodynamic uh, dynamic bearings what we are doing so here uh, so during the running of the shaft okay so during the running of the shaft the Pre, uh, means pressure will generate in the lubricant okay pressure will generate in the in this lubricating area okay and it will lift the shaft okay it will lift the shaft but in hydrostatic bearing we don't need the motion of the shaft okay we don't need the motion of the shaft with the help of pressurized lubricant we are lifting the shaft and it will be the uh, it will concentric now okay okay this so there will be the no offset value from center to center between the shaft and the bearing so here we do not means uh, do not require the motion of the shaft to uh, generate the pressure on the lubricant and lift the uh, shaft okay so with the help of lub uh, pressurized lubricant only we are lifting this uh, shaft okay and now you can see the final condition is means it will be the concentric okay so there is only uh, means uh, uh, two two difference only here in hydrodynamic we are using the uh, atmospheric pressure okay okay and we are not applying any external pressure okay and in hydrostatic we are means using the pressurized uh, lubricant okay and here uh, uh, hydrodynamic pressure uh, hydrodynamic bearing eccentricity is there and in hydrost uh, hydrostatic bearing uh, eccentricity will not be there okay because of the uh, we are using pressurized uh, lubricant and in hydrodynamic bearing uh, the shaft shaft will run and it will uh, generate the pressure on the lubricant and uh, it will be reduces the eccentricity but in uh, hydrostatic bearing uh, it is not required uh, uh, required to rotate the shaft to maintain the concentric means uh, concentricity okay or to reduce the eccentricity so uh, these are the only difference between the hydrodynamic bearing and the hydrostatic bearing okay i hope you like this video okay and in upcoming videos i'll upload the on the sliding contact bearing okay so we have the two two three topics left on the sliding contact bearing so i am preferring the content on that and soon you will get the uh, uh, means those content okay so if you like this video uh, please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video